So today I'm going to be replacing my propane regulator. Now I bought my new regulator on Amazon and I paid about $40 and that included the pigtail hoses as well. By doing this work myself, I'm probably saving about $150. So I'm going to go through the process step by step and that way you'll be able to see exactly how easy it is to do this work yourself. So here's my soapy water spray bottle. This is what I use um, to look for any type of leaks in compressed air or gas systems. So now that I've isolated my leak to the top of this regulator, um, I'm not going to even bother trying to repair this regulator. I just bought a new one and I'm going to replace it. This is a, a dual regulator and it's an automatic transfer regulator, which means that it takes um, propane from one tank at a time. And when this tank runs out, then this switch will automatically flip to the other side and it will then take propane from the other side. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure both of my propane tanks are all the way closed. I'm gonna to have to disconnect these pigtail hoses from each one of the tanks. I'm gonna to have to unscrew um, this piece up here, which just holds the regulator in place. Uh, and then there's one more gas connection down here. And you can probably see it better from the back side. And that, that is the last connection that I'm gonna to have to break. I'm just gonna use a pair of channel lock pliers, an adjustable wrench, and I have some Teflon tape, which I'll use on the threads for the hoses. Sometimes these connections can be so tight that it's hard for me to loosen by hand. So I've got my adjustable pliers here and I can use those to loosen that connection. All right, and that's it for removing the old regulator. The new regulator doesn't come with the adapter piece that I need, so I'm gonna actually have to remove the old adapter piece from the old regulator, install it on here, and then I'll be able to attach it to the hose. Now I install the fitting into the regulator. Tighten the fitting hand tight using my adjustable wrench. Now I apply the Teflon tape to the other side of the fitting that's gonna to connect to the main propane line. All right, now I'm ready to actually install the main propane line onto the new regulator. And I'm just gonna do that by tightening, <coughs> tightening it down until it's hand tight. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my wrench and I'll tighten it down again. And for this part, I'll use my pliers to hold the regulator. Now place the regulator back into position and install the retaining nut. Connect both of the pigtail hoses to the propane tanks. Alright, so I'm opening up the propane tank and I set the regulator to the left side, so that's why I'm opening up the left side. Now this system is back under pressure and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squirt my soapy water on all these connections. And what I'm looking for is if any bubbles form, that would indicate the presence of a leak as the compressed propane is 
making its way out of the regulator or the connections. And I'm also um, looking for the smell of that propane as well, that rotten egg smell. One thing I want to point out when using the soapy water is that there's always going to be little bubbles, but what I'm looking for is to see new bubbles forming or these bubbles growing in size. All right, now that everything's hooked up, I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall that cover. Now to test it out and make sure everything works.